Hi, I'm Judy Loren here at the Long Beach Comic Con with Arizona Power Girl. So it says you're um, a cosplayer. What does that mean? I don't know. Apparently it has something to do with adults or people dressing up when it's not Halloween. Alfred Trujillo, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. So tell me about your I'm concept. Sorry, wait, did you just hit on her? How are you doing? No, girl, it ain't like that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We're just joking. <laughs> How did um, Arizona Power Girl come about? Well, I think that's a story for her to tell because, you know, that's her character. Not really. I stole it from DC. <laughs> I stole it fair and square. She writes comic books. Tell me about that. Uh, well, uh, I was getting hit on by some guy, and he's like, hey, let's go talk about your comic book ideas. And I'm like, uh, I don't write comic books. And uh, about a year later, I started writing comic books. And uh, my character's name is Polly Gunn, and she is a cowgirl, and she kind of is like a ringleader for a gang, and she's so, she's really hot, but she's so gross that no man would ever want to be with her, like nose picking and, you know, whiskey swigging and tobacco spitting kind of a gal. She sounds like a fun gal to hang out with. <laughs> I think she might have uh, modeled her after herself. Might have. <laughs> yeah, I might have. So you're a writer as well, right? Yes. And uh, my character is Samantha Well, and she can destroy the world. So my character can beat up your character. Drawing-wise, characters, how long does it take? Well, a uh, page of comic book artists, you know, anywhere between six hours and ten hours, depending on the amount of detail and, you know, what you're trying to convey on the page, like how many panels and that kind of stuff. So it just really depends on what that particular page takes. But a comic book usually takes about a month to draw. Okay. And what do you use? Uh, just pencil. Pencil, okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, if I wanted to get started, you know, drawing, what would you recommend for me? To get started drawing, you know, you just basically start doing it. The best way is to get advice from people, you know, online is, is a pretty good way because, you know, you reach a, a wide community and, you know, you get advice from people that have a lot of experience and then you just get better. You take their advice and you, you know, work on whatever it is that they tell you. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I would have the superpower of being awesome. Wait, I already have that. <laughs> You don't want to fly? Okay, fine, flying. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what was your first comic book you ever had? First comic book I ever had was probably uh, uh, Carmatron, which is uh, Mexican. And uh, yeah, my parents used to buy that for me in the newspaper stands. So, I mean, that was way different, you know, kind of day. What kind of power did he have? Well, it was a little kid that could transform into a giant robot. And, you know, he would travel the universe and, like, you know, beat up things. So it was awesome. That's very cool. I have a question for you, Miss Arizona Power Girl. Um, what would you suggest and recommend for someone who is interested in becoming a cosplayer? Uh, pick out something that you love and do the best you can to recreate that your own way. If you like a character, be it, do it. I don't care if you look like her or him, if you don't, build yourself your rendition. And if that means buying parts and changing them out, if you sew, great. If you don't, if you need to hire someone to do it, whatever you need to do to feel comfortable, just, just do it. Where can we find your comic book? Uh, my comic book actually comes in pieces in my magazine, which I just started. I put out the first issue, which I'm going to re-put out. This is more of a test market, and it is in my AZ Power Girl Quarterly at the end. And you, uh, once you get all four issues, you have the whole book. That's great. And where can we find your artwork and comic books? Well, all my stuff can mostly be found on alfredtrujillo.com. And uh, we also have the book for sale, uh, Project Shadows, in, in uh, Drive Through Comics. And we will also be having it through stores very soon. Are any of your comic books in Spanish? Not yet, but very soon. Thinking about it? Oh yeah, definitely thinking about it. 